Hey, welcome to Level Up. Today we have for you a short video about how to mimic this morph effect without morph. You can create it in any MS Office version. As you can see, we have a circular picture on this side with a gray rectangle behind it and some sample text on the left. In the selection pane, I named all objects and added a number at the beginning that will help us recognize from which slide are those objects. On the second slide, we have the same elements, just in a mirrored layout. I added two at the beginning of each object's name. Let's select all of these elements, copy and paste on the first slide. So while using Morph, you would have those two slides and then put transition between them. But because we are using standard animations instead, we will have to have everything on one slide. Now I will close this pane and then go to Animations tab and open Animation pane. First, select those six boxes, go to Add Animation button, then Motion Paths and Lines. Change Effect options to go up. Now we have to adjust the animations. Let's select this red dot and move up. Hold shift while you do it to maintain the same vertical position. Then select another red dot and move up till it aligns with the text on the left. Next step, select the rectangle and the picture. Then place it on the left side of the slide. Hold shift key and select also another picture with the rectangle behind it. Now we can apply animation lines again but this time select right from the effect options. Let's adjust the endpoint of the circle on the left and then the endpoint of the rectangle and I want it to snap to the left side of the slide. Let's repeat the same steps with the objects on the right. So first I will move the rectangle and then the picture. Try to make those motion paths similar length. Now I will select all our animations Double click to open effect options and make sure there is no smooth start or smooth end. Then select circular pictures, go to add animation button and select spin. Let's also open effect options and here we will select half spin. To make sure the photo on the left doesn't land upside down, I will have to rotate it 180 degrees counterclockwise. I'll reorder the animations to have them well organized. First, objects from slide 1 and then from slide 2. Also make sure all of them except the first one have option start with previous applied. To make it a little bit faster, I will select the animations and change the duration to 1.25. And then all those four animations, I want to start a little bit later. So select all of them and change the delay to 0.75. Animation is ready, let's check it out. I will click once. So that's how you can achieve a smooth morph effect without morph. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this.